We all know that fools rush in where angels fear to tread. But how do we explain a rock-solid individual suddenly risking everything when there is very little hope of success? Douglas Fletcher is a man with both feet planted firmly on the ground. But on April 20th, 1968, he saw a young boy about to lose his life, and he rushed into danger. Doug Fletcher's career as a securities officer for one of Canada's largest banks was built on logical decisions, not on taking risks. He and his wife, Marna, are retired now, enjoying the chance to live life to the fullest. But 25 years ago, Doug Fletcher took a risk to save a little boy, a risk that could have marked the end of his own life. Doug had promised Marna, as they left Toronto behind for this two-week holiday in the sun, that he would try to forget about work and relax. This day had other plans for him. Ten-year-old Steve Samples was enjoying a day at the beach with his father, Forrest. Take it easy. If you get cold, I want you to come back in right away. I'll be watching you anyway. Okay. Okay. Going to need some more sun care lotion pretty soon. Steve, at 10, was already a strong swimmer and a competent snorkeler. Natives of West Palm Beach, the entire Samples family loved the ocean and took every opportunity to enjoy it. Steve loved to spend entire afternoons exploring the undersea world. On this afternoon, he had only been out about 10 minutes, when his life changed forever. could see the, the tail of a shark right beside him, and uh, the water seemed darker in that area. There was a man on a surfboard, Paul Mulai. He shouted that there was a shark directly underneath me, and for me to climb on the surfboard. Also noticed two sharks about four or five feet long. They were making a circle. It appeared that they didn't necessarily see me. They were just making a circle back around the attack scene. As I came close to Steve, there was a large dorsal fin sticking out of the water behind him. By this time, the water was already red with Steve's blood. father had uh, reached Stephen before I did and uh, he was underwater trying to ward off the sharks. Fear, uh, certainly when I got out that far uh, and the shark was as, as close as it was, but uh, uh, I was concerned about Stephen. Come on. 
I didn't want to let go of his arm. I knew it was very bad and uh, it looked like an artery or something was severed the way the blood was spurting out of it. That was the last thing I wanted to do was let go of his arm. I got it. I got it. As they escaped the threat of the shark, Steve was far from out of danger. He had already lost a serious amount of blood and was still bleeding profusely. Hey, gently, 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 gently. I got you. I got you. Bring him straight up here. I'll call the doctor. Somebody call an ambulance. Lay down here. Gently, gently. Okay. Look out, look out, see what we got. Here, here keep your arm, okay. cover him with this. Here, cover him with that. I got his arm. If we find me something to wrap that leg in. If we find something to wrap that leg in. Okay, I'll get something. Okay, I got his arm. You okay? All right. All right. Relax. Let me be right here, little guy. A policeman uh, arrived and uh, said that an ambulance was on its way and uh, we thought we could save time by carrying the air mattress to the front of the motel. Steve Samples was rushed to the hospital and into surgery. It took over 2,000 stitches to close the wounds that he had suffered. Douglas Fletcher wouldn't know for two days whether the boy he had helped save would live or whether the horror of this day would end in defeat. was happening he didn't seem to be a f be frightened at all but he was very shook up later and he uh, had some sleepless nights afterwards after he realized what had happened you know later on when people said well they could have gotten you too I kind of thought well yeah I suppose that's true but I didn't think of it at the time he was in trouble and that's all I thought about Steve is now 35, the age that Douglas Fletcher was when he risked everything to help save a 10-year-old boy. Steve and his wife, Patsy, have just had an infant son. The circle of life continues for the Samples family. 25 years after he almost died in the jaws of a shark, Stephen Samples had the chance to see Douglas Fletcher again when Doug and his wife, Marna, flew to Florida for a reunion. How are you doing, Steve? How are you? Good, how are you? Been a long time, huh? I'm grateful for Mr. Fletcher. He was a very big part in saving my life. He was uh, one of the first people to me to put my arm back together and hold some pressure points, probably saved me from bleeding to death. It took an unbelievable amount of courage for a complete stranger to dive in and, and save somebody from jump in the water with sharks and save somebody else from being attacked. In my estimation, the action that Doug Fletcher took on that day was that of a hero. Um, the water was bloody. The water was infested with sharks. He was in imminent danger, and he actually risked his life for his part of Steve's rescue. I feel that I had a hand in, in, in saving Stephen. Uh, if he had lost much more blood, I think the outcome of the story could have been different. For his astonishing courage in saving Stephen Samples from a frenzied shark attack, Douglas Fletcher was awarded the Medal of Bravery on August 24, 1972 by the Governor General of Canada. A young boy had the bad luck to find himself in the wrong place at the wrong time. But he had the very good luck to be near people with courage enough to put their lives on the line to save his. Douglas Fletcher also received the Carnegie Hero Medal for his outstanding courage.